What do you think is the brand's iconic watch or piece or collections? I would say maybe the overseas, uh, which ah. is one of the iconic uh, aesthetics of the Maison, mm -hmm. especially with the integration of the bracelets uh, on the sport chic style with mm -hmm. a very particular signature on the Maltese cross, mm -hmm. also on the bezel, mm -hmm. easy to recognize in terms of design signature. And what stands out in an icon is really uh, the design features that people remember the particularity of this aesthetic. What are others? other than overseas? Alors, of course, there's multiple icons, I would say. There's also on the historic mm. uh, collection, the famous 222 or mm. the American 21, of ah. course. And on the classics, we've got the traditional and the, the patrimony. Uh, patrimony, which is a collection inspired by the 50s with iconic uh, dome dial, with military track, with some pearls. Uh, that gives this very subtle signature on the dial, which is also easy to recognize from a design standpoint. Watch fans talk about the uh, designers behind the hot pieces. Alors, the designer is, uh, they have a central role in the creation and the development process. Mm -hmm. At Vacheron Constantin, our designers are working for a long time for the Maison. They have a huge know-how of the heritage and the codes and the DNA of the Maison. Uh, and it's very important that they stay faithful to the DNA of the Maison. And if I may take the example of the overseas retrograde moon phase, the job of the designer was crucial on this development. With the integration of the retrograde date, the challenge for him was really to keep the codes of the overseas with very prominent indexes. And he here, the question was how we can balance the codes, removing the indexes on the top and second half of the dial. We haven't removed completely the indexes, we have shorter their size to make um, the integration very pleasant and aesthetic of the retrograde date. It's finding the right balance to inject the classic codes of the retrograde date, but keeping the philosophy and the DNA of the overseas. Subtle light uh, details, but that's the job of the designer to go step by step and see where we are on the overseas, where we move out of the overseas. And it was a really a deep and intense back and forth discussion we had uh, in the development process with the designer to make sure that we keep the codes of the collection. Alors, Mr. Modolo was a, a designer for Vacheron Constantin since 1989 up to uh, 200. Mm -hmm. uh, I will say he was uh, really deeply involved in many developments from classic to sports. He designed the overseas one. Gérard Genta was, I will say, an independent uh, designer, yes. not part of a maison. It's different way of working. At Vacheron Constantin, the designer team are part of the maison. They are really uh, part of the development process. We used to have one independent designer, who is uh, Jörg Isaac, who worked on the 222 as a special mandat, nothing specific in terms of source of inspiration, unless it's creativity. Each designer, I will say, has his own pattern. Mm. You can recognize the transversal line of Gérard Genta and Jörg Isef. Different, I will say, like an artist. You cannot comment on his own pattern. Every single person has his own way of designing and creating assets. I would say it's a different personality, different way of working, either integrated within the Maison, as we are working today, or external uh, mandate. He participated, he was a designer who created the overseas number one, mm. but not only, he designed also some classic time pieces at uh, Patrimony and Traditionnel. He was part of the family of Vacheron Constantin, around the 10 years he spent at Vacheron Constantin. If we can comment on the way uh, Jörg Isef worked mm. on the 222, mm. he really injected his approach, his signature. Nothing to say with, I will say, heritage of Vacheron Constantin. Mm. Modolo mm. was part of the team mm. and family of Vacheron Constantin. That's why he worked on several creations, classic and sports, such as the creation of the overseas one. It took the inspiration of the heritage of the Maison, which is completely different approach with Jörg Isef, came only for the 222 creation and then right. moved to another topic. I would say um, 
we express both worlds of uh, craftsmanship and eye watch making throughout the Belle Haute Horlogerie. Mm. We have the ability to, to work with artisans. They are part of the entire team. I think that makes the Maison unique is that we have our own artisan on craftsmanship, we have our own artisan on eye watchmaking, we have eye complication workshops, we have dedicated team that create uh, incredible grand complication. I would say what stands different from other brands is that everything is fully integrated into the artisan, either for craft and watchmaking. For example, what we create on Les Cabinotiers, our unique uh, workshops, which is only dedicated to unique timepieces, either on demand or we create uh, started from, I will say, white page with the Grands Horlogers, their own beliefs on how they can express uh, multiple complications. And what we demonstrate uh, this year again with the Dual Moon Grand Complication is a combo of 11 complications, creative facets of explaining a perpetual calendar, change different approach versus counters or display. It's a retrograde date, semi-circle way of displaying the days and the months. It's the uh, expression of creativity on a compact construction with multiple complications. And that's really unique for the Maison and on the, I would say, the eye watch making market. All these different steps behind a watch create value because there is human gesture gesture behind. So I think that our clientele is really appreciating um, the passion, the time that we put in the creation on that and that brings value to our timepieces. And of course it's managed with the desirability of the Maison. We have completely rejuvenated, I would say, our advertising campaign, our product offer, and that helps also to grow the desirability of the Maison and helps the value of our timepieces to grow on, uh, on the second end market. But I would like first to comment much more on the value behind the gesture of any single person working on the timepieces. I would say on different domains from a technical standpoint, you've seen on the overseas collection, we have now multiple calibers. We have the automatic, the dual time and the chronograph. And over the last three years, we developed eye complication with perpetual calendar and tourbillon on a modern treatments thanks to two, I would say, aspects. Skeletonized caliber that we introduced on the, the perpetual calendar and last year the tourbillon with a modern treatment, with a knack treatment. And also new material with titanium that we introduced for the first time on the overseas three, again on the tourbillon. So that's something that we enlarged was quite, I would say, representative of this collection. Integration of eye complication with modern style. And also enlarging this year a new mid-size, I would say, for men and women, smaller wrists. And that's an angle that we added to the portfolio of this very, I would say, appealing collection, well appreciated by our clientele and collectors. For example, yeah. the, the targeting different clientele yeah. uh, is kind of uh, exploration. Yeah. I have an impression that uh, you, some of your collection yeah. they are good for a basic, simple complications. Yeah. Such as uh, patrimony, of course. Yeah, patrimony. But here we have room to explore different mm. ways overseas. What we prove is that we can go up to complications, yes. skeletonized and modernized version of caliber classical function such as the retrograde integration which is something quite traditional mm. i would say that's the collection where we go very broad in terms of territory mm. high complication contemporary classic functions sporty features like dual time and chronograph of course mainly weighted on sports but also small size so multiple variations that we have that's a facet we won't have on the classics for example. We see. won't explore that way so broad on the classic. Mm.